Hi, I'm Hugo, and today I'm going to be resetting my wall here. I've actually recently modified it a bit. This corner here used to be just a square corner, the two walls met, um, but now I've added this extra piece, which is like a 60 degree bit of wall. It's really steep, which I'm really excited about, and it will make means I have uh, some different wall angles, and also hopefully it'll make this area a bit more usable. So today I'm going to be putting on some new holds. I got some old holds that I had on here before, but I also got some really new nice holds from uh, rubber holds. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I'm really excited to put these up. They're actually really nice holds. I really like them. The shapes are really good, um, but also just like the texture is really nice. They're not too rough, so like it's not going to hurt your skin when you're training on it a lot as a home board. And um, yeah, really excited to put these on. So let's get into it. Rubber holds are an Australian brand of holds. Um, you see them quite a lot in the gyms around here in Australia. Um, yeah, really nice. So I got all these super nice big holds, which I don't really have many of in my old ones. They're mostly small, old, bombing ones. But these are going to be really good. I love these pinches and slopers. And um, oh, got some more here. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of holds. <laughs> Yeah, really nice. Beautiful crimps here. And uh, some nice slopers. These are going to be really good. Really good addition to my wall. Um, they're going to make training a lot better at home here. Um, and a lot more fun too. It's a lot more inspiring to train on a home wall when you have good holds. As you can see, I've already got my features up. So the next step is to put up big holds. Uh, they're the other ones that take up the most space, so it's good to put them on first. Seems good. Yeah, another thing I really like about these rubber holds is um, you can put them on with either a bolt or just screws, which is really handy when uh, you don't have a lot of T-nuts. So I've got all the big holds up, and it's already looking really good, as you can see. Um, and now, it's time to start putting up all of these. Got actually a lot of holds here, which I'm really excited about. Um, there's all these new rubber holds, and then all the old ones around the edges. And then over here, I've got all these wooden ones, which I actually made myself. Um, some of them like these, they're just hardwood, and I just sand it down, put some screw holes in it, and make like a really good pinch. And then, um, these ones is actually plywood um, that I made into shapes like that. I've finished putting on all the bolt-on holds, and now it's time to put on the screw-ons and also the wooden holds. We're going to use these to fill in all these gaps and make it really crammed. Up, oh, battery's flat. Okay, takes two. Oh. Beautiful. So when I'm putting on the screw ones, I try not to like, so if there's a gap like this, I don't pull it, put it right in the middle, because then I can't really put anything here or here. So I put it down here, and then I can fit another hole here. So, it's done! And I'm really happy with how it turned out, actually. Um, I've already been climbing on it, and I've been able to make some really cool climbs. And I've um, got a good variety of holds, some big ones and some little ones. Um, and it's also quite full, but actually more full than before. So massive thank you to Rubber Holds for helping me fit this out. And thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.